We also have uh, the power steering. So the Camaro didn't come with power steering. Um, it has a manual gearbox, and every time, every time I'm in there trying to turn, I feel my muscles. I feel my muscles getting bigger and tighter, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel like I'm driving 18 wheeler trying to get out of a parking space. All right, I'm I'm tired of them days. All right, so we upgrading to power steering, um, and Bergenson um, is the company. They sell this quick ratio um, uh, gearbox, power steering gearbox, and it's uh, a, it also is supposed to get rid of the slop. So like uh, in the last one of the last videos, I showed you guys how like I would move the steering wheel side to side, and the, and the wheel would stay straight because of all the freaking play. Um, so between the Bergeson uh, gearbox and the new rag joint. All that stuff should clear up. Um, and then they told me, because I'm running their uh, gearbox, I have to change my pitman arm to a V8 pitman arm. So I got a new pitman arm. Um, and then this engine uh, only comes in a electric uh, rack and pinion. So like the 2013-2014 uh, Camaros, had no power steering it was all electric uh steering rack so what i had to do was get a 2010 2011 uh power steering pump boom and then to make that work i had to get uh the pulley separate because gm discontinued the pulley so this came from uh hawks motorsport so it's a direct replacement uh, for the factory power steering pump and bracket looking all buttery and sexy and whatnot. Oh man, that's, that's gonna be delicious. So that's gonna bolt right here. Um, and then this alternator, um, it's gonna be in the way, it's gonna hit the subframe. So what I'll have to do is use this kit. Bam, bam, right here. This is going to relocate the alternator. Um, uh, what's the name of this company? LS Brackets. So that's from lsbrackets.com. Um, so what their kit does is it relocates the alternator to the top. And it allows you to put the factory power steering pump right here. So that should come out cool. Uh, man, whoo. Woo, we, uh, we're almost halfway through. We're almost halfway through. All right. What else we got? Boom. Uh, Dirty Dingo's uh, slide engine mounts. That's going on. And again, this is a V6 that came out. So the frame mounts have to be replaced. Uh, I have to go with V8 frame mounts because the V6 frame mounts won't work in case you're doing a V8, V6 to V8 uh ls swap or v8 swap uh 350 427 anything like that um bam whoo bmr bmr sells this cross member these brackets they allow you to slide um uh, you know the position uh forward or backwards uh for the transmission when you install it so that's pretty cool um so hopefully, so that should work out great. Next on the chopping block is K-Tech. K-Tech sells a uh, stock style uh, LS3 oil pump. And what they do is they CNC port it. Uh, and that allows for it to perform a whole lot better. Um, and I'm very curious to see how this thing works. Um, it's supposed to be pretty high tech uh, versus uh, segue the K-Tech. So that should be pretty cool. I've never heard of a uh, ported oil pump. So that should be a pretty cool upgrade uh, for the car. Um, also, we're using the 160 thermostat because we're introducing more heat. So we wanna try to keep the car cooler. Um, and of course, the trinions. My, 
my beloved trends, baby. You, 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 you know the vibe. You know the vibe with the with the C H E. Yes. Um, so, like I said earlier, same thing with the uh, like the Johnson lifters, the stock L S roller rockers come with needle bearings. And if you have a situation where those needle bearings like explode and fail, you're going to have all these little small needles uh, going all through your motor. So instead of doing that, you switch over to a bushing style. So if anything does happen, you'll just get this slit. You'll get a, a bushing that just snaps versus a whole bunch of needle bearings. So that is going in there too. Um, from also from Texas Speed, I got the stainless headers that's going in this mother sucker. So she give me some nice little bliggity bliggity blackity black. That should be cool. Um, over here, oh, over here, over here, over here, over here, we got the Terminator. We got the Terminator. Danny, get down. Ugh. From Holly. We're going to use their Terminator X uh, EFI ECU PCM system to power up Zen. And it also comes with this, oh, this big daddy. Oh, that's a huge mother sucker right there. Oh, boy. They 12.3 Pro Dash. Yes. I've been waiting so long for one of these. Woo! I can't wait. I cannot wait to put that in. Mm, mm, mm. So supposedly it's touchscreen. You can do all your tuning, you know, with the combination of the Terminator X Max and the Pro Dash screen. And uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast to to get to to dig into this and find out all the capabilities that it can do. Um, and then I want it to complement the screen. I didn't want it to be in there bulky and like bulging out. I want it to do something to where it flows with the car. And for that, boom! Oh, oh, you, oh, y'all thought it was a game. No, it's not. So what we have here is from Mr. Gray Area Steel um, on Instagram. I, I put his, I put his, I put his Instagram down here somewhere. Um, but this dude is freaking amazing. He is the only person that makes a gauge cluster to hold the Holly EFI Pro Dash in a '69 Camaro. And it's a direct replacement. And the level of craftsmanship on this thing is amazing. Uh, let me see if I can, I don't want to take it out, but like, look at the welds. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So he definitely did his thing on that, man. So uh, the Pro Dash will go in here and that should be pretty dope. Um, I also want to hide all of my wires um, and relocate the coils. So I have MSD's uh, Extendo um, spark plug wires. And to, to make that work with the spark plug wires um, and relocating the coils is ICT Billet's uh, coil relocation bracket kit. So that should help me relocate them uh, pretty much anywhere I want. That way you can see those sexy, sexy carbon. Yeah, y'all remember those from earlier. Yes. And next on the hit list from McLeod, I'm running their RTX twin disc uh, clutch. Uh, this bad boy is capable of handling over a thousand horsepower, and it just it just looks all extra buttery and very delicious and whatnot. So um, I'm juiced to throw that in there. Um, and then also, um, when you do something from the cloud, um, such as a twin disc, 
they recommend you measure the distance um, so that you can get the proper engagement of your clutch. Um, and instead of me buying spacers, um, McLeod sells this adjustable, adjustable throw bearing. So I'll probably cover this in a Tony's tech tip, but it's a pretty cool invention that they came out with and I'm juiced to throw it in there and see how it performs. Uh, they also sell this cool kit. So what this does is uh, it's a direct mount for the clutch master cylinder um, for uh, LS conversion in the old school. So this bracket will go on the firewall and then you'll, you'll install the rest of the components. Um, and then what you'll use is, I'm gonna use is their clutch pedal. I had to buy clutch pedals um, because it's an automatic car. But what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, McLeod recommended me take this clutch pedal off and install theirs. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and then, what do we got? Oh yeah, I can't forget about Mishimoto. Hello, Mishimoto. Yes, uh, I've had great, great experience with their product on power. So I'm gonna to continue to use them on Zen. Uh, so I have their three core uh, aluminum radiator that's a direct fit for the Camaro. Um, and it's gonna be powered by this massive, huge fan to suck in all that hot air and get rid of it. So that should be a pretty cool, pretty cool upgrade. And then uh, while I'm on the cooling system, I also like to just upgrade or also like to replace my water pump while I'm in there. It's just one of those things. You might as well do it while you're in there. Um, and I have a AC Delco water pump uh, so that I can, um, you know, make sure my cooling system is good. I think that's pretty much everything. And, and that's a whole lot of parts. Woo! That's a, that's a lot of parts that's going on in this car right here. But I'm juiced. I'm excited to get this process going. I can't wait to share all this content with you guys and ladies and everybody around the universe of YouTube. <laughs> we will have fun putting this thing together. Um, on the next episode, I'm going to tackle the engine bay, getting that ready. So there's a whole bunch of like dirt and wires and everything and i want to do some painting on it as well to get it prepped so that's going to be on the next episode until then i got a couple more things i'm waiting on uh hopefully they come in soon and uh i hope i hope y'all enjoyed this grocery list uh because woo, woo, give y'all one more good gander of uh of what's to come in the near future so until then, in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you mother suckers on the 